Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday the 17th of July 2020. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is the proof of focused of a focused heart, the proof of a focused heart. Scripture says, teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. Psalm 86 verse 11. Thought for the day. A focused heart is a united heart. It is a heart that is fixed and focused on God. Earlier on, we saw the manifestation of one of the divided hearts. We saw that a divided heart prefers other activities above time with God. A person whose heart is divided cannot serve God effectively. On the other hand, a focused heart is a united heart. It is a heart that is fixed and focused on God. Your dedication is not complete until your heart is united and focused on God. Some time ago, a man asked my husband and I to follow him to view a property. It was a seven bedroom duplex with a basement. When I asked him why, I should follow, why, he should, why we should follow him and look at the house, he, he said um, to see it first and then afterwards he would let us know what was on his mind. Now, we thought probably he was intending to gift the house or something like that. But the problem was that he wanted us to see the house during the healing and deliverance service in the morning. And my husband asked him, said, uh, I can't go with you now, but I could come with you after the service. And he said, no, you, you, you need to come now. Then my husband told him that he would not follow him to see the house and that he needed to attend to the service. You see, beloved, my husband, the senior pastor, refused to follow him because he had an appointment. He had a schedule with God at that time. In addition to his value for God, there were many terribly sick people and afflicted people who desperately needed divine healing and deliverance at that time. And it wouldn't be proper to leave them unattended to in order to go and take a look at the house. At that time, we had been in ministry for more than 13 years without a, a house of our own. We didn't own a house at that time. We were still living in a rented apartment. And so the temptation was so strong. But uh, my husband couldn't abandon God and the people who were in need just because he needed to go and look for where to lay his head. And so he, he didn't follow the man. We didn't follow the man that day. And he went. And do you know what? He never came back again. He never came back to say, okay, are you ready? Whether he was angry, we don't know. What it was, whatever it was. But the fact was we had chosen God ahead of what it was that he was presenting to us. It didn't matter how urgent it was. The afflicted, the sick needed God. And when God saw that, it was like God said, you will never lack a house forever. And within a short time from that time, houses say oh i now have a new house or it's no longer a testimony you say it's not they are just available and what was it that happened god saw that our heart was undivided he saw that property were not enough to take our attention of god it was like i look up to you lord and then god says i will take care of you I, I, so a while ago um in the u.s Someone said, we well, have a building for you. We have a property for you. Do you know till today we haven't had time to go and take a look at the property? Not that we don't appreciate it or appreciate God's provision and supply, but the fact is that is not our focus. And in the midst of that, focusing on God, then God is making those things that people are rushing after to come rushing after us. Beloved, you cannot put God first and come last in life. Make up your mind to pursue God wholeheartedly and you'll be amazed at what God will do for you. Remember this, a focused heart is a united heart. It is a heart that is fixed and focused on God and on Him alone. 
What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God to give you the grace to resist the temptation of choosing anything above God. And number two, make up your mind to focus your heart on God alone. And thirdly, determine to sacrifice anything that would take your heart away from God. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask for the grace to resist every temptation of choosing anything or anyone above you in Jesus name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before I close, I'd like to pray for somebody who says, my heart has been so divided. I have pursued the things of the world. I have no, I've had no time for God. I've had no undivided attention to God. And I want to be born again today. I want Jesus to be the Lord of my life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I know you prayed that prayer and you meant it. And I know that the Lord has heard and answered in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place